Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Tuesday, and guess what? Amanda is getting ready to get married. She'll be preparing all week, getting married Saturday, so I'll be riding solo. And uh, before we get started, we got a great show lined up today, a lot of fun stuff, a packed show. But right now, let's check on the weather. Zach, tell me what. Temperature is pretty warm right now. We're in the 70s at the coastline. Uh, probably one of the last few days we'll see the 70s, at least for this week. 71 Loris, Carolina Forest, all the way down through Merle's Inlet and Georgetown. 68 in Marion, 68 there in Florence. As you move inland, that's where the lower 60s are because at this hour, you're still warming up. You were in the early or you were in the low 40s early this morning. That's what I was trying to say. And that's why it's taking you guys a little bit longer out there towards Rockingham to warm up. The warm air surging up from the south right now. 62 in Charlotte, 71 Myrtle Beach, 68 Tallahassee, 81 in Orlando. Boy, what it would feel like to be in Miami. 83 degrees today. We top out around 70 at the coast, 72 inland and again. Just a few of those uh, afternoon clouds. The winds will be light. We're in between two areas of high pressure, and that basically means your steering flow is rather low. Maybe you're going out trying to buy a ticket. Best of luck. 1.6 billion up for grabs. Sunny skies on our Wednesday, mostly cloudy on our Thursday, and rain on Friday. So unfortunately, you didn't match the three suns to win uh, your forecast. Unfortunately, of course, that ticket worth like one two thousandth of a cent. Hurricane Willow right there, a uh, major category three storm, maximum winds of 120, uh, moving north northeast at six miles per hour. This is headed towards the Mazalatan region. I am expecting a landfall just to the north of Tequila, but it has created and finished its eyewall replacement cycle. It's clearing out the center of the eye at this point. The storm will work its way inland. It should be a remnant low by the time it reaches Texas, but that moisture will work its way towards the Gulf Coast and eventually towards our region on our Friday. Expect a very rainy and a very cold Friday. We will struggle to get our temperatures out of the 50s and 60s. Some lingering showers are possible on our Saturday with those clouds clearer on our Sunday, but another round of moisture and cold air moves in on our Monday. Monday. Overall, we could pick up around half an inch to maybe an inch of rain between Friday and Saturday morning. By Saturday afternoon, say the noontime hours where those rain chances will be after the noontime hour, we should be all dry, but it's going to be mostly cloudy. Again, those temperatures on Friday and Saturday staying in the 50s for highs for inland locations well below average for the next seven days. All right, welcome back. The Humane Society is here with us. They're here every Tuesday, and Jessica's here. And what do we have here? So we have Betty dressed up as a lobster, okay. and we have Veronica dressed up as a mummy today. <laughs> and they are here. They wanted to talk about the Walk for the Animals, which is coming up this Sunday. Now that's at, a big event y'all do. It is. It's our biggest event of the year. Uh, it's going to be held at the Market Common again in Valor Park from 12 to 4. And we really hope everyone will come out and support the shelter and meet some of our cute animals. What all is going to take place now while y'all are there Sunday? So we're going to have our annual walk, which starts at 1 o'clock. It's $10 to register, and of course all proceeds go right to Grand Strand Humane Society. Then we have our costume contests. We have some great raffle prizes, silent auction prizes, uh, lots of fun things for the kids to do. Just It's going to be a really fun event this year. Okay, when you say costumes, for the pets and the kids? For everybody. everybody. We want everyone to dress up. Dress your pets up, dress your kids up, dress yourselves up, and come out and have a good time. All right, now that's Sunday. Tell them exactly where it's going to take place at Market Common. So it's right inside Valor Park in downtown, right in the middle of Market Common there, right. in the middle of all of the shops. All right, it takes place, starts at what time? 12 o'clock. Everybody's invited. Everybody. Come out and help raise money for the Humane Society, right? There you go. Jessica, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I know, it's so great to be here. <laughs> all right, kids, I like your outfits. <laughs> see you later. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
You know, being on Carolina and Company Live is probably the best job I've ever had. I come to work every day, and it doesn't even feel like work. And working with Cecil is definitely a highlight. You know, he's a crazy guy. He says all kinds of crazy things, but he can get away with it after being in the business for 45 years, and he can teach me so much. Every day I come in, I can learn from his stories and work towards my future in TV. We have a great time together, and how you see us on TV, that's how we are off set as well. We truly enjoy working together and what we do, and we thank you for joining us. And welcome back, everybody, to Carolina Company Live. When you're by yourself, you really have to move. Let's find out a little bit about today. Today is Monday. No, it's Tuesday. I'm sorry. October 23rd. And this is TV Talk Show Host Day. And it's also National Mole Day. Here we go, birthdays. Uh, let's see. Weird Al. You remember this guy? Oh, I'm sorry. That's Pelé. I'm sorry. 1940. Uh, Pelé, he's uh, 78, considered the greatest soccer player of all times scored 1,281 goals in 1,363 matches. I think that's pretty good. 1959, there's Weird Al. He's 59 years old. He is weird. He did take off some popular songs like Beat It, He Did Eat It, and then Like a Surgeon for Like a Virgin. And before fame, he was a door-to-door -door salesman. How would you like that for come to your door? Wow. 1976, Ryan Reynolds. He's 42 years old. People's Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive in 2010. Movies, The Proposal, Safe House, Deadpool, and Green Lantern. All right, today in history, let's see, 1962. Stevelyn Morris Judkin, now later known as Little Stevie Wonder, at the age of 12, recorded his first single. The song was, Thank You for Loving Me All the Way. Now from the Know It All Department, where you learn something every day. Here we go. Did you know that squirrels plant thousands of new trees each year? You know why? They simply forget where they hide the nuts. And so trees will grow there. That's not a good one. That's from the Know It All Department today, though. You learned something today. we got a lot more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Be and than. welcome back. All right, for the last 11 years, the Halloween ride and chili event in Merrill's Endless has been raising money to help with mammograms. This year's event is Saturday, October 27th, this week. Tony's here with us now to talk a little bit about it. Tony, tell me about what else is coming up. Okay, uh, this is our 12th year. Um, what we're going to do is we meet at the Imaging Center across from Waccamaw Hospital in the morning between 8.30 and 10. We're going to take a motorcycle ride. It's yeah. going to be about 160 miles. We're stopping at a, a old store out in Pleasant Hill and have pink hot dogs for lunch. Then we're going all the way to Jamestown and then back to the Beaver Bar Pavilion and we'll have our crock pot chili cook off. Uh, last year we had 18 pots of chili. If you want to enter, to, uh, bring your chili in a crock pot between nine and two. Um, they'll give you a number. We judge them at four. And then anybody there at the site who's donated for the day will get to eat all the chilies for free. Uh, this year we got a special, Bubba's Barbecue is bringing us a whole hog and anybody who wow. donates gets to eat any of the hog. Leslie's going to put out the desserts and coleslaw and everything and it's just going to be a big day all about the women. Well, We're here to raise our money, you know, to help our local ladies. And all Les our money does, stays. Leslie does so much to get involved oh, in yes. the community and yes. all the money saved. Do you remember what y'all raised last year? Uh, we raised almost $6,000. Well, that's a lot that goes that a long way. In. Uh, and doing that. You got a new chili recipe, you tell me? Yes, sir. I got a what chili it? recipe. It's a shrimp chili, half chili powder, and half Old Bay. And uh, yesterday we did it on your morning show, yeah. and, and they ate the whole pot. 
<laughs> your cameraman Keith, had five bowls. Keith is unbelievable. Keith had five bowls of chili. And he never gains an ounce. That's what's so there, amazing. But this is all about our ladies. And listen, all the money stays local here for our local ladies, and they get to get tested for free. Even if they have them assurance and they got that two hundred thousand, I mean two thousand dollar deductible, they still get tested for free. We help them. You know, That's it's, amazing. Uh, it's all about the ladies. My right. whole heart is. It's about the ladies. You got that right. It's October 27th. Starts where? Tell them where it starts There's, at. Uh, at um, Image. The Imaging Center in the morning for the ride. And then at 2 o'clock, the party at Leslie Beaver's Pavilion. It's 2 to 6 is the party. The chili cook-off will uh, start at 4. And anybody wants to enter the cook-off, they can do so. Yep. Just get in touch. You can find Tony, call me, and I'll get you in touch with him. Yes, sir. Thanks, Tony. Thank I you, I appreciate sir. you, buddy. Yep. All right. We got more coming up. Stay with us. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we got a big car show coming up this weekend down at the Pier at Surfside, but there's a lot more to it. Uh, it's called the Beach Balls, and this is going to help uh, Champion Aut Autism Network. And uh, we've got Becky and Phil with us now, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it. And Becky, let's talk a little bit about it first, about what exactly the funds go to. So the funds will, um, it's a fundraiser for Champion Autism Network, and we support families with children with autism. Uh, we provide traditional family experiences modified for those with autism all right. and so the funds stay local and uh, go to our events here all right now y'all have put together something phil's been working with you on this now phil what all is going to be down there at the car show we're going to have hundreds of cars beautiful cars but there's going to be more to it well yeah we're going to have uh, eight vendors six competitors for the beach ball Best of the beach, beach balls ball challenge. challenge which is a meatball challenge oh when they make meatball right and then you know you sometimes you have Sometimes you get a spaghetti challenge. Sometimes you, you have some chicken wing challenge yeah. or, or barbecue. Well, this is a meatball challenge. Uh, 
last that spring, good. last spring uh, uh, at the hotel sponsors a fall event for children. And I was trying to put together what we were going to do this year. And being the parent of an autistic child, I got a hold of Becky, a friend for many years, and said, hey, let's, let's do something down on the beach like this. And that's when we contacted you about uh, yeah. partnering with your event. Right. So now, that's, that worked out perfect. Now, the, the vendors are all going to be set up at you on your pond on the corner of Surfside Drive, right there where the, I call it the brick parking place. Yes, right. yes. So we'll all be there, and uh, the people will pay a dollar for a tasting at each of the, for each of the different competitors, of which there are six. I'll be there to do that, too. I hope so. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, and visit our vendors as well. And there will be um, prize drawings with a passport for people who can fill out the form and completed forms they get entered for um, Myrtle Waves passes or a lot of giveaways. certificates to Hamburger yeah. Joe's and, and other uh, supporting businesses. Well, that's good. Becky, Phil, thank you both, and I will see you all Saturday, and I Yay. hope the weather's perfect. Rain date you Sunday. <laughs> Rain, Rain date, date is Sunday. Sunday if we do. Rain day Sunday. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we've got Lynn and Percy with us now. Students in the Word organization is having a fundraiser coming up, and it's a uh, fall luncheon and fashion show on November the 8th. Now, we're going to talk with Lynn first. Now, what is students in the Word? What is that exactly? Let's talk about that first. Sure, and Percy and I represent the Board of Directors for Students in the Word. It's an organization that's designed to help middle and high school students develop knowledge, more knowledge about Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And so it's release time for education. We take them out of school um, for a certain period of time and give them the lesson. It's a curriculum-based education program. Then they go back to school and they get to um, participate in their other classes. They get credit for it. And the beauty is that the program is very impactful to the students. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, now this coming up, this uh, the fashion show and luncheon. Tell me a little bit about that person. Uh, it's one of the major fundraisers for the organization of the year. Chico's is helping sponsor. They're bringing the fashion. That's We're going to have some food. We're going to gather around and enjoy it. They're not going to let me dress up, I think. I think this is going to be primarily women's fashion. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's where it's going to take place. Where now? St. Paul's United Methodist Church. In where? In Pauly's Island. Pauly's Island. Okay, yes. that's what I want to make sure. Pauly's. Now, who can come to this? Anybody can come. Men can come too. Yeah. I'll be women. there. Yeah. And, the, and, right. and the best part is you will get to hear from the students themselves. Yes. Several of the students will be on hand to share what students in the word actually means to them. And it's very, very, you know, bring your tissues because it's very uh, emotional. Very touching. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now who's going to be doing the modeling? Some of the board members. Oh, okay. I might be modeling. Yeah. I don't know. This might be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fun time. It's a great experience for all, absolutely. Well, Chico's. I think my wife goes here every other weekend, I <laughs> well, think. Well, she has got that's, to come then. <laughs> that's, that's unbelievable. But this is this the first time y'all have done this event? We did it uh, the year before last, so did we do you? it every couple of years. All right. Now, when you're talking about raising money, what does this raise for you? It raises funds so that our kids can continue to on with the program right. because mm -hmm. it's not, a, even, though our, even though our school district lets us um, go off campus to have the program, yes. it's not funded by the school district. It's funded by private money. I understand. Right. Man. So we pay for transportation, 
um, snacks for the kids, uh, right. expenses and things like that. So we're running the program. And the teacher. And the teacher, and the definitely. Teacher. Very yes. important, yes. absolutely. Well, yeah. they've taken God out of the schools. I'm sorry. They should put it back. All right, one more question I wanted to ask you about. What, what kind of money did y'all make the last time y'all did this show? Do you remember? I believe we raised about $10,000. That's great. So we're looking at least that or more. Absolutely. We hope. All right. Thank y'all both for being here. Once again, tell them when it's going to be and what time. Thursday, November 8th uh, from 1130 to 1 o'clock. And we look forward to seeing you. We have tickets available for $25. Paulie's on. St. Paul, yeah. St. Paul's United Methodist Church. All right. Thank you both for being here. Thank, thank you. Right. We appreciate it. We got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we're going to talk about donuts as part of this that's coming up. It's the Carolina Forest Rotary Club, and it's their 5K Krispy Kreme Donut Dash. Now, how does it work? Eat a donut, run, eat a donut, and run. I'm not kidding you. All right, we've got Dawn and Kim with us now. All right, Dawn, tell me a little bit about, you know, what in the world? You eat a donut and run. Well, you actually, you can choose a different category. So we, uh -huh. have, we have casual runners who will uh, complete the entire 5K, and then they can pick up their box of donuts to take later. We have oh. the competitor runners, and those people, they run half of the 5K. They eat all 12 donuts. All 12 donuts? All 12 show their empty box, and then they run the second half of the 5K. And then we added a team of two. So <laughs> if, you, if you came, you and I could team up. Yeah. I could, I'd run half the 5K, you'd eat the 12 donuts, and then I'd run the second part of the 5K. Or we could switch up, I could run, and you could eat. Oh, goodness. All right, Kim, you, you're the, uh, what with Rotary Club? Oh, I am the president. President. Current president of, of our right. of Carolina Forest. Now, this is a fun event for y'all. It really is. It's a fundraiser for us. And so we decided, we, we teamed up with our race director, Dawn, and it said, <laughs> you know what, we need a fun fundraiser. Um, and so this is what we decided to do. And so why not run and eat donuts? I mean, it's just a win-win for us. That's right. And Krispy Kreme, they give y'all donuts, Sponsor, and they're so yes. great. And sponsoring all the community events every time Thank you turn you. around, Krispy Kreme's there to yes. help. And yes. that's what good. All right, now, last year in the race, which race did you run in? The donut eating part of it? I didn't. I was just oh, the race director. The director so last I, year. I observed. Okay. Yes. All right. Made so sure one of the races well. you have to run halfway. Yes, the competitor. Competitor. And eat yep. 12 eat donuts. all 12. Do a lot of people pass out? 
Or no, the sugar they high. smush <laughs> them. They smush them mush together. Them together and there, eat is them? A, yes. there is a, a, a theory that if you mush them three or four, and you <laughs> take your plastic bag and make sure you don't get it all over you, and then you eat your them, bag? Then you're good. That and does not gloves? work. I tried it. I was in a donut eating contest that I won with Krispy Kreme, and they gave me a year's supply of donuts. But I had to just eat them the regular way. But there was another guy in there who was smush them together. Them but I love Krispy Kreme. Don't get me wrong. I know. It's that just is so yummy. good. Well, I'm gonna tell you. All right now, can people still get in this? Yes. Yes. All right. What do they need to do? They can. You can still register online, and so we should, um, we should show CF Donut Dash, yeah. or go to the Carolina Forest Rotary Club Facebook page, and there's a okay. link to the registration. That's right. Um, right. So that's all the way through next week, and then we have packet pickup Friday, the, the day before, at Krispy Kreme on Rodeo Drive on Ohio 501. Yeah. So you can register there, or you can come that morning and register. Well, I'm going to tell you, Miles is an unbelievable guy that helps with everybody yes, when it comes to Krispy Kreme. He's very, he really he's very giving, yes. All right, run a little bit, eat a little bit, run a little bit. <laughs> and all proceeds go to back to our community, yes. so that's important. Right. So every time, all every runner that yep. enters, all those funds come right back into what us. What did you always service. last year, real quick? Uh, probably a little over 2000 I think. Okay. All right. Thank you, girls, for being November here. November third. My pleasure. Thanks. November third. Next Saturday. Next yes. Saturday, eight a.m. Right. We're yes. gonna eat some donuts in just a minute. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. It's funny, it's crazy, and you never know what Cecil or Amanda are going to say or do. Hollywood! <laughs> it's Carolina in Company live weekdays on ABC 15, a fun show that makes you laugh and makes you feel good about where you live. If you just moved to the area, Carolina and Company Live is the show you need to watch. You'll find out about everything going on along the Grand Strand, PD, and Border Belt. Check it out weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. And welcome back, everybody, Carolina and Company Live. We had a great show today, and of course, Amanda's out getting ready to get married on Saturday, so I'll be doing solo for a while. We had a great show today. I think that is so cool. You run a little bit, eat a few donuts, uh, 12 donuts, and then you run a little bit more. That's a lot of fun. All right, don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow with another great show. Tell a friend about this show. All you got to do is tell one friend that's just moved here, and they'll learn a lot about the area and everything that's going on. That's why we love to do this show, Carolina and Company Live, Monday through Fridays at 12 noon. So tell a friend and, and uh, we'll, they'll definitely learn something. I was going to tell a joke, but I couldn't remember the joke I was going to tell here. I had a few, a few extra seconds, but I can't remember. That's okay. Tomorrow we'll be back with another great show. Hope to see you here at 12. Everybody have a great day and be back here tomorrow, okay? All right, is that what my producer said? He'll be back. Are you coming back tomorrow, my producer? He's not coming back tomorrow. He said, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Okay, we'll see you later. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.